This is Land Rider 7, aka LR7, or Land. I am here in this, in this, uh, in another episode of Open Topic, where I talk about anything really, or something that has not been, been uh, specifically planned out, and, and pretty much uh, whoever can come by and and start and start any topic uh, is more than welcome to do so so without further ado I have some I have a story to talk about as well as some things that's been going going on through my life and uh, due to a couple of of things that's been interfering and uh, and it's been bothering me for quite for quite some time and I believe it had to do with with something I must have caught in one of my uh, in paranormal investigations so so ever since ever since that day things have been going bad on my end so this is what I this is when I wanted to talk about this and see if I can and hopefully I can uh, some you know to kind of to kind of get this get this out of my mind and and kind of have something something to share with with you guys uh so without further ado i will i will start talking about how it all started and how it came to be and and what's been go and what i has been done about it so um, this is going to be nearly 3 weeks during the making and stuff and let's say other stuff has been happening as well so alright guys here we go now it all start I believe it started at the day at around May 29th it was just a typical day all I all I was doing was uh, uh was the usual chores waking up in the morning to to get them get them finished and like I usually like always do in every Saturday where I have to where I have to take get that taken care of so so I so I started the routine of of cleaning doing what needs to be done and uh and star and doing what I usually do and then after that I was invited to go to go check out our a friend's yard sale to see if I can help him out and uh, and that's pretty much and then and then I pretty much uh, help did th just that stick around for a bit help out in some and some in putting away some stuff in the yard sale I mean, see what needs to be done and and that sort of thing here and there. Then I got a phone call from one of the from one of uh, one of the lead investigators I was a part that I'm a part of, or I was a part of. Because I you, I do I I in case you guys didn't know I've been I've been a part of a paranormal investigation team, and I've. Uh, and I'm usually the go-to guy when it comes to evidence and and say and archiving archiving stuff uh, stuff like that and I was uh, and they needed me to uh, do to do some to sue some of those stuff as well and 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 since today's the day where I'm where I should where I'm gonna go and collect the evidence and make a backup of it that's when that's when I got ready to got ready and head back home in order to uh, in order to get myself ready. Then, all of a sudden, I got a phone call from from one of my friends, where where they also wanted me to hang out with them. They wanted me to meet up in some caregiving home, to because they said they wanted a. They want. Uh, they wanted to hang out, or, or, or that's what I can remember, or what's going on, what was taking place there. So I, and so seeing that I had enough time, I decided to 
go go with my friends to see what they what they're they've been up to. Well, by the time I arrived, little did I know that they had that they they are actually there because they're working working because they were offered a job or at least a temporary job to to take care of these uh, these elderly people and uh, they and 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 I did let them know that I also ha that I couldn't just couldn't stick around cuz I have another thing going on that I, that was actually planned out and and they and the guy, and my, and my friends were insisting that I should uh cancel it and pretty much uh pretty much uh that's uh that's what they wanted me to to do so i decided to i i uh, well i more like i hang around there for a bit but I did let them know that I'm eventually going to head out in order to ta to get this taken care of. So, so uh, after an hour of you know hanging around, messing around and stuff, waiting, supposedly waiting for for the for the boss to uh, interview me real quick, so they so the person knows that I'm there. Unfortunately, I couldn't stick around long enough because I really had to get that taken care of. The other thing taken care of, so I I left after an hour of hanging around with them. So, oh my goodness, this is when th this is where things get get a little out of control. As I went to my car to to start the engine. I went to check on my phone only to see that it died and therefore I wasn't able to call to call one of my, uh, one of my uh team investigators and uh and af and well I ended up going to a totally different park thinking that this is where I'm supposed to meet up with I even got off my car just to to go look for them. Well, turns out, turns out I went, I went. It wasn't the place to go there. And uh, and well, I decided, you know what? I better go back home and get this uh, charging issue fixed on my phone so I can so I can call them and that's pretty much what I did I got to my car when after looking around the park exploring to see if I can uh, I will you know to see if they're there by any chance uh, so pretty much uh, after after driving home from traffic dealing and whatnot and and it's like nearly nearly heading getting late on my end I made it I went to fix up the charging issue on my phone real quick and af and charge it just enough to where I'm able to make a phone call and I'm so that's what I did and when I answered and when I called him or called the lead investigator man he wasn't so happy about me taking so long and I had to go and explain my situation and and after, and then and then and then grabbed my stuff and and get the proper directions to oh dang it that dang it someone's shooting again uh shoot somewhere else um in the middle of stuff
So, anyways. As I, con as I made contact with the lead investigator, finally got the right directions to get to the other park, and and put it on my phone, and put it in on my GPS so I can make it there. I picked up my stuff, put uh, carry whatever I need to take, uh, carry and take whatever I need to take just in case. All of a sudden, I got a phone call from one of my friends, one tell uh, asking me where have I been and why am I taking so long, and I had to tell him that that I was at the wrong park and. And I had to go back. I had to go and and home and get that charging issue resolved. Well, and I t and I made the mistake of telling them that all right, let me just let me just get this taken care of, and I will be right back. So uh, and so that's and so I left the house. And went to the park. Went to the pr right park for where I'm supposed to meet up. So. So after. Seventeen, eighteen minutes later, arrived to the park where they've been waiting for me for quite some time. But of course, due to me being with some other friends and ending up at a different park and. Uh, since I couldn't get the directions and I had to assume that it was that other thing and only to find out that it's not so I head back and had to go oh my had to go back home to get the phone charge charging resolved and man I believe I wasted I wasted some gas there just just going through all that that maze of a mess so they gave me the once I after I arrived. They gave me the equipment and the and the stuff I need in order to in order to make a co make a backup, cause since I have the main backup and a secondary backup. And and I went to grab their stuff, their recorders and their equipment, and made a backup of whatever they had recorded with evidence and whatnot. So. So after 30 minutes or so of recording audio and video into both of my backup drives, I I uh, let them know that their that their backups are ready to go and everything's been saved. So little did I know that I had an in, I had an investigation to attend, and oh my goodness, things didn't go well or I knew things aren't gonna go well from there so so what else had happened what el what else went to what else happened there well I picked up one of the one of the team members so I can so I can uh, take them over to that house to the house that we're going to investigate and and by the time I arrive there well more like more like uh, more like taking some time to get there you know telling some some short stories about good things going on here and there so after all that that talking and while driving and and a few and a few uh, rings coming from my phone, only so my phone ends up dying anyways. <laughs> I arrived to the house, to the house on where we're supposed to investigate. This house didn't look so old; it looked a little more recent, perhaps built from the somewhere around the 90s, early 2000s ish. So. You would you wouldn't suspect that somebody had died there, since it's not that old. But guess what? It turns out. Turns out, there's a reason why that how that house became haunted, and we went over there to find out. So we so me and my team have entered the house. 
it didn't at look at first it looked like a regular typical typical semi modern looking home after setting up the went to talk to the to the people living there they've been telling us how there's been there's been some some strange activities going on some some things that are not right about the house where there's been there's been cases of of seeing of wit of seeing shadows going going from one place to another and there's also been cases of of hearing noises coming from the attic and 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 a uh, garage I believe so so we, so that obviously gave us a sign that the house is haunted we don't exactly know if it is so we so this is when we unpacked our equipment and and have everything set up not even 10 minutes and I'm already starting to feel a little weird and the next thing you know I started feeling weak and well I just didn't feel good and to the point that I couldn't that I've been kind of dozing off <laughs> in the middle of setting up the equipment and have everything recording man I was just not in a good situation the fact that I've been concerned about my uh, friend about my friends trying to call me cuz I originally I told them I'm going to be be uh there and, and and I didn't so I had to put up with with having to stay stay in that in that house for a good hour while my team have been investigating the the place to see if they can identify any any entities there So after 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 an hour or two of looking through the place finding I uh, didn't really I didn't really see any ghosts or shadows of my own. I was just feeling a little weird. Yeah, that was I was just in the couch just just feeling useless. I, as much as I like to go and investigate the play the the whole place talking to these entities I just I just didn't have the energy to even to barely move much. So I took the I took a moment to go outside to get some fresh air to to kind of get out of the house cuz I wasn't feeling great just being there and I didn't even have the energy to do much. So I wasn't much of much of any help other than setting up the equipment. So after an hour of of feeling feeling low in energy and very worried about about not only not on not only what was going on in the house but also stuff going on with with my friends that I said that I was gonna I was gonna t uh, take care of but never did because I end up sta sticking around there and my phone is well is being being useless after the battery died well it was two two in the morning we left the house and and pack up or help pack up uh, the the equipment of one of the lead investigators and after dropping dropping all that off uh, I went home took a shower and well uh pretty much uh pretty much just died in bed because of how tired I was yeah probably some other stuff had happened in uh in, during while I was on while I wasn't aware of or something something else had happened at that time where it's been affecting me to the point that I couldn't you know the reason why I had this neg negative energy affecting me is 
is due to I believe it's because of whatever is in that house had been had been messing with me or messing with my energy and I couldn't and I just couldn't do much there so it so it's been affecting me since uh affecting me all night I feel like cr I felt like absolute crap and just and just couldn't remember anything else from that night the next day in the morning been I was uh, I was do of course sticking around doing some typical chores and then all, and then my friends have called wondering what happened and and if I'm able to make it well let's say uh, let's say I've been hesitant about some stuff um, and and I had to tell them that you know what I'm I'm in the middle of doing some stuff just I'll get back to you in like some in like some hours from now and so and so sometime some hours pass by of after doing chore chores here and there washing the cars and and doing the usual stuff I uh and got some and been eating well I should say brunch cuz it was already somewhat a little too late for breakfast and uh and uh pretty much uh pretty much uh doing what I normally do and then of course I got a phone call from them again wondering what's taking so long and and okay and let, and I'm going to be honest with what happened there I was uh actually I was actually with my dad at the time helping him out with with the st with things to do and here and here and there and he was like and he was and I and he must have heard my uh, that I was talking to my friends and he was like hang up the phone you need to work on some stuff here and uh, work on some stuff and um and I had to pretty much do that in order so I can continue where I left off well this is when things went when things well this is when when the worst happened I I called back to let them know that I wasn't able to make it and tried to explain what's going on and as they were insisting that I should that I should head over there and 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 see if I and go and make it cuz they were insisting that I should be there and and helping them out and get and you know make get paid to help out and all and out of nowhere my dad my dad was like hang up the phone and I had to go and uh uh and well this is when when thi when I when things went out of ca out of hand to the point that not only did did I then my dad dad was like was like harsh that to end up end up making me hang up the phone harshly at that moment there I believe I well I've lost I lost some friends over 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 some over what happened there just because my dad got in in the way and s expected me to do something else and well and lack of and wasn't able to explain things properly and well that's when i knew that something that something terribly wrong happened man that was one of the worst days ever losing someone just because just because someone someone else made you do something against your will well things 
became very different since then. And and pretty much I felt really bad cuz that I it wasn't really my intention to lose somebody just because someone else made me made me uh do that. So I had to live with it. So and that and from then on that's when I know that that's when I knew that whatever whatever uh, was happening in that house as well as some other other things mixed in together that 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 also had also had went had also affected me as well as them must have followed me and and perhaps that negative energy must have also affected my dad as well as as well as my friends and I found out that I found out that I didn't just lose one friend I also lose a few others that's when I knew that this isn't this isn't an or this isn't just just uh just a an a how should I say this not an ax not necessarily an accident but but I knew that something else was do was was making me lose people that that had that indirectly had went crashing on me and it's been affecting me since then well that's pretty much that's pretty much uh, what happened at that time, and things weren't and things were not the same since. Well, another another thing. I also a more recent thing had happened. I'm gonna have to be a little quick on this, so. So bear with me. Long story short, or another thing happened to me uh, when I was gonna go go out to meet up with someone. So that I believe that may relate to to whatever had happened to me. My, the the negative energy has been giving me bad luck and making things harder for me to accomplish much. But anyways, here's an, here's another story that took place not long ago. So, I will, so as I um, got ready to to meet up with 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 a person, because this person also wanted to get into streaming, and she and she wanted to meet up over at the Fremont near some Starbucks in one of the casinos. I mean, I don't, I don't see why I don't see why we should go there, but I guess that's where that's where she uh she told me we should meet up there in order to talk about so, uh, how we can do the streamings or help her out in 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 making making a watermark at, or or so or so on and so forth. So so I I was there pretty early. Found the park. Went to went to the Fremont. Arrived there after uh, from freeway from my place to the to the Fremont and went to go look look for parking. And so I did found parking. And at the begin and at the bit board it said free parking, but I did not suspect that I did not suspect that it said with valid. So. Without me noticing, I entered to the and went to inside the parking and found a place to park around uh, to park. You know, just to have my car there nearby so I can meet up with that person. And that's pretty much what I and pretty much that's what I did. So so found a place to park and 
and went down went downstairs to the to one of the casinos next door to where I'm going to where I will meet th with this person and so we had a you know simple and you know, waited for her for roughly 20 25 minutes or so only to find out that that I was at the wrong Starbucks and well there ha and here's the ironic part there happens to be two Starbucks within the same place itself the same casino itself so I went to the other one to meet meet up with her and and there she was and there she is patiently waiting for me so we can so we can discuss about about stuff with the wa with with some business stuff So, after we talked about a few things here and there, and then she wanted to get into the streaming industry and see if she can make it, make it there, doing her own thing. So, after we talked a while, uh, for some, t for some, uh, some short time, and and told her that when, it, like, when she has the chance, just send, send me, send me some examples, and maybe I'll be able to be able to make make a watermark for you and I can also show you how to how to add it to to her stream and that sort of thing so we since so we went our separate ways and went to grab a drink around one of the one of the souvenir places and pretty much uh, pretty much once I I got a drink went back to the parking to the place where I parked I just I uh, went over and over to drive you know to the top floor you know drove drove had to I don't get why I had to go I had to drive all the way up only to go back down because it was only a one-way drive so after I went after I reached to the exit and she, and I got stopped by the lady and say you have to pay four dollars in order to escape. I'm like, what? For reals? I got to pay money just to exit out. And so I went to grab my wallet to see if I can uh, I can pay pay uh, her. And she went to, and she took my card and slice it and you know swap it through. And it said it didn't go through. And I just told her, hey, uh, try again. Maybe it might work this time. So she tried again didn't go through only to and I'm like that's weird my card doesn't work and so I had to give her uh, so I had to give so I what I at the time I had a $100 I had a $100 bill in which I had in which this one I found in when I was working over when I was at work doing at the motor speedway on Monday Oh yeah, and forgot to mention, I found the one hundred dollar bill over at over at the Motor Speedway where EDC took place. A small de another detail I forgot to mention, but I may have to men uh, tell you about that later on. But yeah, it's a some hundred dollar bill that I found, and I gave her that hundred dollar bill to see if she can split up. But she told me to go to go inside and and have that and see if they can get that split. So, I went inside. I went inside the place and see if I can get it. Uh, ask one of the ca one of the front desk to see where I can get get a change or at least uh, split the change. And she told me that I gotta go to to another one. To another one uh, further back, and so I went. And so I went there to get some get the get that uh, bill exchanged. And so I, I, I now just I gave her the, gave uh, the person at the other desk the, the bill to exchange, or see if if it can be split. So. So I and so I did. They took it. They scan it to see what's going on, and and then they were like. They had the they they had a look on their face that is that something is wrong. And so she took the doll she took the the bill at the back 
went on the computer, I believe went to do something down in the desk. I couldn't see exactly what we were doing. And then she went out, and then she went to another to another uh, front desk. And there was a security guy, a security guard there. And I was like, "Wait a sec! What does what does splitting splitting the uh the that bill have to do with the security?" Well, little did I know that I got myself in trouble, and I didn't know, and I didn't know exactly why I got in trouble. And so they, and so I got, so security had took me to to a different spot and they've been asking me questions about about the about the bill the the bill the 100 that I got a hold of and they were asking me where did I get it why did are what are you trying to do here are you trying to are you trying what are you why are you trying to uh change it for and I'm like I, j I and I had to let them know that I just found it I mean I, and I didn't I didn't know I didn't know it, I got I I got in trouble for this and I didn't know that that what I'm doing was was bad, and that I and they've been and they told me that the doll the money that these dollar these this bill that you have a hold of is a is is not a legitimate uh, uh, bill, and well, I did I had no idea it wasn't, and they were ask and they were continue asking me did you get in tr how did you get in where do you get this. Did you get in trouble? Did they give it to you? And asking me details like that, nearly confusing me, and been telling them to the best of my ability. And they, and and I had, and I did let them know that I found it. And they didn't believe me. And they thought I was, I was trying to play dumb or anything or something like that. And I've been telling them this is what I found. It. There's, I mean, I'm not sure what what else are they looking for. This is just what I found. And and I didn't know they were fake. And well, they they made me stand. They made me sign a. They made me sign a report. I had to let them know what's going on, and then I had to give them my ID and whatnot. Made a copy of all. They made their copy, gave it back to me, and and the next thing you know, they made me stand up. They turn around and put my hands in my back and handcuffed me. Man, at that moment, I felt it felt like I was a criminal, just because I, just because of those bills that I was trying to exchange. And they took me, and they took me out. Uh, they across the across the casino and went to a went to a room. And in this room, it it. It was it was a concrete, only had a few a couple of lights, and they, and they opened up another room and just, and may and of course they made me put away made me take empty out my pockets. They took a picture of me. Facing uh facing front. And. They clo and then they locked the door on me. Well, from that moment on, I had no idea what I that doll that bill that I found when I was when I was at the motor at the EDC Motor Speedway turned out to be a fake. From that moment on, I was literally the most unlucky person. And the unfortunate, and I had to deal with this unfortunate event of being locked, uh, being treated like a criminal, just because, just because of, just because of that. Well, after an hour of stay, after an hour or so of of being locked up, unable to do anything about it, another. Another cop came on and asking me a few questions, direct, play, uh, where where I live, if I ever been in trouble like before, and and that sort of little little details like that. And well, I just told him, told him honestly, and he just he just went okay, thank you, and then 
and then closed the door on me again and then some time passed by about 30 minutes or so I believe and after that they they uh, they just they uh, decided to let me go in with the with the exception of I'm no longer allowed to go back to that casino and they consider it as trespassing then there's no need for me to go to court or none of that and I just decided to accept it and they and I took got my stuff back but they end up taking the bills so I I don't so I'm never so I don't think I'll ever ever see those those bill those bills again and they escorted me to my uh, out to the parking lot and they let me go let uh, let me go to so I so never again never again will I go back to that casino just because just because I wanted to I was exchanging exchanging that bill so I can I can get the I can get uh, use smaller bills in order to pay the lady to get at to leave and I and I did leave for sure and and after that, I don't, I don't think I'm ever going back to that casino ever again. Well, they took the bills, and I'm guessing whatever they're going to do with the bills, they're going to take it to the Secret Service to have it, have it look, looked into. And who knows, who knows, who knows what, what's, going to, what's going on from there. I'm not sure if, uh, if, if there's... If there's something else that I need to do, or something else that I, that's gonna happen next, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get contacted by the Secret Service, and there might be, they might ask me about the about the bills that I found. But who knows? At the time of this stream, I have no idea what's what's uh, gonna happen from there. <sighs> well, pretty much left the left and now and now that's just the, just just one of the stories of another story of of another misfortune which I believe that's also been affecting me as well well the next time the next time you find a bill like that be sure that it's le it's a legitimate uh, bill and not a counterfeit, because if you try to exchange it to to a casino or been in the situ the misfortune of being in a situation that I've been to, well, you're gonna you're definitely gonna get get treated like a criminal and uh, you're gonna have and if and if you're lucky enough, they're just gonna let you go with the exception of not coming back there and. For trespassing. Well, I had to, I definitely found out the hard way, and I and I hope you guys don't have to go through what I had what I went through. So, make sure you check you check your bills when you f when you find them on the floor before exchanging them, or even going going to an unexpected parking. Where they mislead you to saying that it's free when really you have to pay. It's only free for a for a short amount of time of parking. Well, that's pretty much my experience of what experience another a bad experience that I went through, and I believe I believe that's that that misfortune may uh, may have been following me there to the point that I get in trouble by the law. Well, the main thing is that I'm still I'm still alive and well, and that I'm not in not uh, in jail or nothing nothing like that. But who knows who knows what else what else may happen from there? They may they may call me to ask me some more stuff, or they may I may be required to do some other things. But I really don't know from 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 the time of the stream. So hopefully. I don't have to go through any more trouble just because just because of what I found. 
But anyways, uh, but anyways, uh, today I've uh, I had come across a late uh, a lady who had who had who also has the ability to help me out in in getting rid of this negative energy where I had these mis misfor misfortunate events that's been go affecting me. And well, and so she did perform some kind of uh, some kind of ritual or some or what she would describe as a as a cleansing and that's pretty much and and that's pretty much what I what I uh, what I did before before uh, the stream or have that taken care of so hopefully hopefully what she what she did will will help help by a lot and that I don't have to go through any more mi more misfortunes again and if this doesn't and if and if there's still something else that I need to do there there's a good chance that I may need to talk to someone else that can that can uh, that can do a be a better job or or so but anyways uh, this is just some one of the things that I had to go through and hopefully you guys hopefully you guys don't have don't have don't have to go through what I have to go and if you do happen to come across some something a uh, situation like like that or somewhat be sh or or if you believe that that the reason why why bad why bad things are happening there's a good chance there's some negative energy being or an entity a negative entity uh, that's been attached to you and you definitely got to get uh, got to get rid of it as soon as possible so misfortunes like this doesn't happen again. Well, guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed the enjoyed the stories and and hopefully you guys can be safe out there and not have to go and hopefully you can avoid anything like anything like it and 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 also also be sure to like comment subscribe follow thumbs up plus or whatever it's going to be called uh, uh it's going to be called later in the future so hopefully you got hopefully you guys can come and participate in some future shows and and if you're in and if you're in the and if you also have something to showcase that's game related uh please do you're more than welcome to to come by and uh, and hit me up so maybe I can showcase your map or or mod or or anything that's cube related or 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 that sort of thing and hopefully hopefully I can come up with with new stuff later on till then this is LR7 and I'm logging out <laughs>